streets. Kevin, the mayor's office, none too pleased with these attacks. Well, actually, they are all done commenting on the antics of Bob Carmack, and they do not comment on the mayor's personal life either. What they will say is that Bob Carmack is criminally charged because the Detroit police investigated this case, and the Genesee County prosecutor found enough evidence to charge him, not because of the mayor. Flying high over City Hall in 36th District Court, more banners intended to embarrass Mayor Mike Duggan. Inside 36th District Court, Bob Carmack, the man who paid for the embarrassing banners. Carmack is criminally charged with fraud and uttering and publishing. The city says he sold city property he did not own for a million bucks. Carmack in court showed the judge and an expert witness the deed with multiple signatures from city officials saying he did own the property. This deed says the proper and fair consideration was conveyed and it's approved by the director of finance of the city of Detroit. Isn't that right? It does say that. The Genesee County prosecutor brought the charges, arguing Carmack never paid the $250,000 he promised for the land. In your business, would you want to know if that was indeed paid? Yes, we would inquire. Carmack says he was only charged criminally after he showed video publicly of the mayor showing up at a woman's house after work hours. He calls the criminal charge retaliation. The mayor's office says the mayor does not decide who's charged or let go. Well, the mayor uh, is the boss over this police officer. She answers directly to the mayor. Actually, only the chief of police reports directly to the mayor. Today's hearing had only two witnesses. The prosecutor has several more to call, and the defense has not even begun to make its case. Short of the judge dismissing this case, it's likely embarrassing banners will be flying over the skies of Detroit for months to come. You may remember a while back, the mayor did ask the Michigan State Police to investigate Robert Carmack for possible extortion. They did that and they found no proof of extortion. This case has nothing to do with that. This is about this piece of property and is this deed proof that Carmack owns the property or not? Guys, back to you. Well, Kevin, this preliminary exam has been going on now for several weeks. It's my understanding it's not even half over. Now, these usually take a day or two. What is, what is going on here? Yeah, I haven't seen one go this long in a long time. Now, the prosecutor has to come in from Flint because the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office recused itself. And today's witnesses, one was flown in from Chicago, another from Minneapolis. So there's a lot of scheduling going on. This is going to be a long preliminary exam, and it's going to be an expensive one, too. It sure is. All right, Kevin.